Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a random password generator program using Python. So let me walk you through this program. Here you can see that this is the GUI which we have created using Kinta. Now if we click on this generate password button, there you can see a randomly generated password is displayed. So as you know that a strong password has a letter, numbers and special character which is all present in this password. So I know this is a short project and I usually don't create such small project on my channel but, uh, but I just came from a three day holiday and I was really not in the mood to work so I just thought why not create some short project okay so let's without wasting any time let's get started with the programming okay so now I am into my editor let's import our libraries which will be required first of all we need random to randomly generate our characters for our password then we need kinter to create a GUI from kinter import star or import all then we need to import string which I will show you that how it will work so first let's create a kinter GUI so we'll create a variable root and then tk make sure that this t is capital then we'll uh, tell that what will be the uh, height and width geometry uh, spelling mistake geometry and it should be let's say 250 into 200 sorry now let's create a button make sure that this B is capital the text is gonna be generate password and the command or the action or the function that this button will trigger is generate password which will create after creating a GUI generate password then let's create this into Arkinter GUI btn dot grid uh, let's say add the row second and add the column second now let's create the label which will display the password once again make sure that this L is capital uh, then we'll decide that what will, will be the font uh, it will be times and the size will be 15 and it should be bold okay so now let's grid this grid at the row 4 and at the column second uh, it should be an comma here now let's close our main loop there we go so we are done with the GUI part let's create a function which will be triggered when this uh, should be generate right okay uh, when this button is pressed def generate 
password now we don't need to pass any parameters here so first we'll create an empty list this list will eventually store the password now I'll create a for loop which will run for let's say five iteration you can choose the length of your password on your own or you can add the entry so that user can select the length of the password it all depends how you want to create your program I'm just providing you the basics so first of all let's see that how we can randomly select the alphabets so random dot choice it should be choice Lambda dot uh, random dot choice sorry <laughs> then string dot ascii dot uh, hyphen ascii underscore letters now here we are randomly selected a letter using a string predefined package now let's do the same for symbol and numbers okay so now let's append or add these four uh, these three values which is alpha symbol and numbers into a password empty list okay so there we go now let me explain you this for loop now let's say that we want to generate a password of 15 characters strong so when this loop will run first time then it will generate a alphabet a symbol and a number then those value will be saved in our list and this loop will run again and and after five iteration 15 characters will be stored in this password list so let's convert this list into a string so that it is easier to display into our GUI now here first of all i have extracted each character or element from our password list then converted that into a string here you can see str of x and then we have joined it or merged it into an empty string and here we have configured our label so that a label show our randomly generated password so let's save this go back to our folder and let's run our code uh, we have an error row is not defined uh, it should be root not row now our GUI is working perfectly let's click on generate password and there you can see a randomly generated password is displayed for you so this was a short project but if you are a beginner some of the concept like how the function works how a for loop works and the basics of the Kinter GUI is perfectly displayed in this program so 
I create such short projects on my channel. So if you want to watch them, then you can just visit my channel and I'll meet you then. Bye bye.